It's quite a tongue twist and a half, isn't it? Potty, prepare your pooch properly, but that is exactly what we're gonna do this morning. Do you wanna try and say it? No? No? <laughs> okay, she's too scared. All right, auntie's with us and we're talking about potty training your pooch properly because it is probably, it is one of the things I think people suffer the most when they get a new dog. I mean, especially if you have nice, expensive carpets at home and your doggy makes you a little prezzy on there. I mean, you don't want that. So I think the obvious question is, where do you even start? Well, first thing is to realize that when your puppy comes to you, the odds are that mom has already trained it not to pee in the bed area, naturally. Uh -huh, so, so that's so, an instinctual thing. Absolutely. So we want to make the most of that training already and pick up where she left off, essentially. Okay. So it's about careful management yeah. and, and, and watching your puppy like a hawk when you can. All right. Okay. So now, we're going to tackle it from two sides. Okay. There's always other options. This is the ideal option. Sometimes homes don't lend themselves naturally to option A. Yes. So there is always an option B, but ideally. So All right. we have a situation where on the one hand, one side of the coin of the training, there's two sides. We have a safe area. So, so that, is, that is a thing. That is our what little, is Bobby, okay. come. So come here, big boy. We call it a safe area. Bobby, we're going to use Bobby as a puppy. Okay. Oh, good, you know. <laughs> Bobby, in the box. In the box. Yeah, he's a good duck. Yes. How to train go to <laughs> okay, bed. Okay, so, so <laughs> just take us through exactly okay, what is happening so and why it's called a, a safe area. As a very small puppy, obviously it'll be half the size of Bobby. <laughs> so this area would be the perfect size for it. Most of the area is taken up by the bed. Yes. And there's a water bowl there because we want to encourage lots of drinking so that the in and out happens. Okay. And then there's a toy and a chewies for the teething. Yes. Okay. So that's the only thing that's in there. Now as a puppy, they will sleep lots. So don't think you're putting your puppy into a prison scenario. Okay. Okay, and they're not in there all the time. Yes. So what we do is we It's do, mainly just for the beginning stage. We do, yes, we do okay. a setup whereby the door is we're gonna pretend there are no gaps here. The door is open into the opening of the crate. Yeah. When puppy wants to pee, so he doesn't want to pee on his bed, he has no option because we've left him no space yeah. but to go outside. All right. So I'm just going to encourage the outside story with a little bit of food <laughs> so we can visualize this. See Come Bobby, off you go. There we Excellent. go. So okay. puppy's gone out to pee. So puppy's gone out to pee, okay. He does his thing, okay. now you obviously now, say well done. And right, yeah. but now I haven't seen this. Uh -huh. Remember, he's in a safe area, I'm not around, he's training himself. That is very clever. Okay. All right. Now, there are three times that puppy's going to want to pee or poo. Right. The first is after waking up. So he sleeps lots during the day, so he wakes up lots during the day, okay? Yes. We can't always catch those moments. But after food, is a very definite. This we can catch. Yes. So we'll, we will put puppy, um, once he's finished eating, we're going to, I'm just gonna move this for a moment. Um, we're going to, so puppy's just finished eating, yay. We're gonna grab a real yummy, yummy treat on our way out and we're going to go out, we're going to stand by the grass and we're going to wait for puppy to pee or poo. Don't talk to him because if you distract him, okay. you're going to be waiting forever. <laughs> um, and then the minute he's, the nanosecond, he's just finished squatting, it's yeah, good dog, throw a party. Oh. Give him a treat, <laughs> play a game, have a ball. All because right. you want him to know that out there peeing is the greatest thing in the world. Whereas if you catch him peeing inside, okay. as he starts to sniff, you know the signs, yes. sniff, 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 sniff. As he starts to sniff, um, Bobby, won't you come sniff there? It's ah, uh, ah, uh, and <laughs> yeah, and get down, yay, and change, throw and Once wait again. for it again. That is great. Okay. So, okay, so those are the things to look out for when he wakes up, when he's eaten, and we start sniffing around. Yes. Okay, then and you know. play. And after, after playing well, exactly Well, unfortunately, what? we all play a bit too long for puppies. So what happens is they suddenly... They can't hold us anymore. They can't hold us anymore. <laughs> and there's no time. All right, quickly. <laughs> there's not even a warning. Th that, that are some great tips. But uh, one more little thing about yes. this. You need to make this area progressively every two weeks bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Within six weeks, your dog is house trained. All right. So now you're going to give him double that room. If he still chooses to go out that door mm. or flap or whatever you've given him, Despite having more room, you're on a good trend. Two weeks later, you're going to give him half the room. All right. Week, two weeks later, the whole room. Yeah. He's still choosing to go out there. He's house trained. 
Brilliant. And that's okay. a nice, effective way of house training yourself without you actually having to put in so much effort, so much which is effort. great. Auntie, thank you so much. Remember, whenever your dog pees in the house as well, never ever shout, scream, or slap your dog. That is not going to happen. Counterproductive. It's Counter not going to work, so I do it. Exactly. Auntie, thank you so much. We're going to be back after these. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Yeah.